these guys were colorful characters full of big tails and he, he kind of fit into that category it seems like. This is what Elaine Walker, curator of collections here at the Anacortes Museum, had to say about our first mayor, Frank Hogan. Frank Hogan really was as colorful guy as Elaine described. He fought in the Civil War, was a Texas Ranger, helped capture Galveston, the type of guy many of the other councilmen wouldn't want to quarrel with. So when you have a safe that has um, Frank Hogan's name on it, it kind of conjures up this romantic image of grand times. Hogan's safe, much like himself, has been shrouded in mystery and intrigue ever since it's made its way to the museum in 1982. It, it's a really beautiful old safe. It's definitely that Victorian era, crazy funky thing like Wile E. Coyote would drop on somebody's head. And the fact that we can't open it just adds a whole layer of mystery to it. Since no one has been able to open the safe in nearly 50 years, many have speculated as to what is in the safe. From pirate jewels to a simple gavel, Elaine assures that what lies behind those folding doors may not be what it's cracked up to be. There's probably nothing in the safe. Maybe some invoices from one of the old wood mills in town. It, it probably went from Mayor Hogan to one of these lumber mills and then just stayed in that office through the years. Despite this, efforts have not stopped to try to open the safe, including a couple of safe crackers. As far as I know, at least two safe crackers have come in trying to open it. Um, one was hired by the Museum Foundation. He was a, a former he was a former bank robber kind of a guy who, who turned into a locksmith and you know, went straight and narrow, but uh, he was sure he could open it, but he couldn't. And they stopped him before he drilled holes in it. Because it's a beautiful artifact. People should come and see if they can open Mayor Hogan's safe. <laughs> something, to, something to try. The tumblers are very satisfying to mess with.